Here's a Radeon graphics card. I'm going to show you how to pull it apart and give it a clean. Yeah, it's pretty easy, but you may not know how to do it. And it's important to clean these graphics cards because dust does build up inside them. Stick around and watch the video. Okay, so it's pretty simple really. You've actually got a bunch of screws. It's like six screws, I think it is. Around the outside. One, two, three there. See there? Those little holes. And three here. I've already taken the screws out. And then you can lift the cover off. This is just a shroud. Actually, nothing attached to it. It's a pretty heavy shroud, actually. What's it made from? Polycarbonate PC. What, when was it made? Let's have a look. It was made in... 2011. October. So, let's have a look inside here. This is a bit you're interested in. As you can see, the inside, that fan didn't look too bad, did it? But if you look around the outside there, it's got a lot of dust built up around the outside on the componentry and in the heat fins there. It's partially blocking. It's not too bad, actually. I was expecting it to be worse than that. But um, it's one of these things you need to clean out. If you look at that end, it looks absolutely fine. You know, it doesn't look like it's got an issue. But obviously, yeah, it does. It needs to clean. It's not that bad. But... Um, it could have been a lot worse. It's, I, I've never pulled this graphics card apart. I've had it for about three years. So I thought, well, it's about time I did it. I had the computer apart, so I might as well pull it out and have a give it a clean. So, a brush. This is a standard brush. Nothing too exciting. And just give it a bit of a clean up. Now, this will make a mess. I do recommend normally you do this outside. All right. Just very gently, just poke away in there. And just try and get it off of everything. Inside those little holes down there. Right, so you can see how much dust is coming off this, maybe. Maybe the camera's picking up, I'm not sure. But um, there is quite a bit of dust floating around the air now. So normally I'd say do this outside, blow it out as well. If you've got compressed air, it's even better. Right, so I'm getting down as far as I can. Alright. A bit of dust down there too. Now, once you've loosened all the stuff off at the entry here, you're potentially pushing it inside. So what you're best to do is turn around and blow it back from the outlet. So blowing this air in that way. So just get myself a can of canned air. All right, just some of this stuff. If you've got a compressor, you can use that too, doesn't matter. Um, or you can just blow through it yourself, but this is a bit more powerful. Get the dust coming out of there. All right, otherwise it's going to end up sitting inside. There. And that's blowing there as well to get the bits I couldn't get before. There we go, that'll do. That should be good enough, that should be fine. Now, if your graphics card is particularly old, another thing I'd also recommend doing is potentially removing the heatsink and everything and putting a new heatsink compound onto the GPU. Sometimes that's a really good idea. In this case, I don't think it's going to be a problem in this particular graphics card. I mean, it's, it's not any issues overheating, it's not that old, so... Um, I think it's probably fine, don't you really need to do that, but in that case you have to take these screws off here. Those screws there, and probably the whole cage, I'm not sure actually, on this particular one. Quite possibly, might only be those four screws there. And that will probably then lift the heatsink off and you can clean the original heatsink compound off and put some new stuff on. Make sure you use good compound, don't use cheap stuff, don't get, get crap from China, don't do that. Alright, get something decent, it's important. But so in this case, I'm not going to worry about that. It's not that old. It's probably absolutely fine. I'd be surprised if it's a problem. Yeah, so that's pretty much the case of reversing the process now. And it, but yeah, there's still a bit of dust in those fans, actually. And those fans are skipping more there. Get that out of there. Sometimes it can be a bit stubborn. Especially if it's very humid. The, the humidity is actually quite bad, because what can happen is humidity can make the dust stick together. And when you've got a lot of dust build up on electronics, especially in like power supplies, and you've got a lot of dust and a lot of humidity, it actually make the dust start to conduct and it will become a short circuit or potentially a low resistance and that can cause all kinds of problems with power supplies, it tends to blow them up so anyway there we go, that'll, that'll do, good enough so then we put it back together, I'm going to show you to put the screws back in because obviously I didn't show you to take them out In this case, this, this is a nice positive fitment. So normally I'd say don't tighten them until you got the last one in. But in this case, it's like a perfect fit. So you don't actually need to worry about it in this case because it does just line up. If you haven't seen my other video on the Asus graphics car cleaning, which is a bit more involved than this one, it shows about doing the heatsink thermal compound and 
but that sort of stuff. Um, then you might want to go and check that out as well. I might put a link down in the description or something for that if you're interested in that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure you share the video to people which might be interested in seeing how to clean the graphics card. It's a pretty simple process, but unless you've actually done it before, you don't actually know how to do it. We might even be aware you need to do it. So make sure you share it with your friends so everyone knows how to clean the graphics cards up because you know if you don't clean them, they overheat and there are problems with graphics playing up or your computer crashing or stuff like that. Okay, all done. That's now ready for putting back into the computer. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon and all that sort of stuff. All the good stuff. Thanks for watching, catch you later. Leave a comment.